Hey guys, it's Dewi here. So, <sighs> I did something. I made my first ever really big purchase that wasn't a tech, which usually goes over a thousand. I actually bought myself a handbag. Not just any handbag, it's Senrev. So, basically, I have been looking for a handbag that could suit the modern working woman because I usually carry a laptop in my camera gear and it was really hard for me to find a laptop bag that didn't look like a laptop bag. You know, those flat rectangular things. Ugh. So out of the blue, I actually found this brand called Senrev and I'm going to be reviewing it for you. So the shipping was super fast. They were really helpful in customer service. And this is the outcome. Italian leather, made in Italy, mimosa pressed, which supposedly is just another way of treating leather. So it's a handbag. You can also use it as a cross body bag. So at the back, there actually is domes where you can actually unbuckle and adjust the link to make it a cross body. And the thing that I really love, because my bag, handbag usually gets quite heavy, is that you can actually use it as a backpack. Pull the straps down, and there you have it. For the price, are you ready? 995 US dollars, free shipping, but 995 US dollars, which is equivalent to about 1,000 1,500 New Zealand dollars. It's beautiful though, isn't it? No regrets, no regrets. So as you can see, the opening and closing strap is basically just this dome. Punches through. And the thing that really pulled me is they actually have a lifetime warranty, which means they won't fully replace it for you, but they'll be there for you for constant repairs and you can even send it back to them for the repairs if you're in America. Or you can take it to a local repair shop and I think they'll cover it for you depending if it's you do it through them. So you need to actually contact them first. Oh, the inside, it's beautiful. So basically the inside has A little laptop case, carry case inside, a little, little laptop pocket for it. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or oh, six little mini pockets for random stuff like pens, makeup, hard drives, and portable chargers. There's also a zipped compartment, which is right here. The compartment, which is real nice. And again, as I said, the little laptop pocket. So the thing is, this little pocket for the laptop only really fits a 13 inch laptop or a tablet. Let's see. I actually have here my 13 inch MacBook Air. I think this is 13 inch. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, warning. So it's this size. And I'm putting it in. Closing it up. Okay, so from in here, you can see that it fits in perfectly. I wouldn't recommend putting anything bigger in there because the inside lining is made out of suede and suede is a type of, oh, is leather basically, just treated differently. And leather always softens up after a while. That's the only thing that I'm a bit worried about this bag is that the lining is suede and if I put anything too heavy in the pockets, that'll stretch out. Ugh. But of course I'm not gonna put anything heavy in the pockets, I'm not a dum-dum. Um, I'll just put my little accessories and stuff and in the big area, I'll put my camera gear since I'll be vlogging in Japan, um, and showing off my bag. 
There is also another thing that I found with this design, that there are little gaps in the side there. But it's not a big of bother because you can actually clip this in. There's actually a dome on the inside that you can clip the corners to so it closes it up. Well, it covers it up at least. Ah, there and there. Yeah. And as a little fun detail, can you guys see this? I love how they actually put that there so whenever it gets bent, it'll bend back out. I don't know, little details are so good. Another pull that really got me is the feet. Bags with these feet usually hold their shape longer and are a little bit more durable. Also, I've always been wary about putting my bag on places where it actually scrapes the corners because when you put it down, it touches the leather. But with these, when you put it down, it doesn't, it'll just scratch up these things. But hopefully they're like replaceable or I'm hoping to find something that can actually just like protect it. Which is weird because they're actually supposed to protect the bag and I'm looking for a protector to protect the feet. Haven't yet tested it out and actually tried it in my daily life, but I'm hoping to do that later on and I'll give you an update video. For 995 US dollars, it ticks all the requirements that I need, minus the fact that I carry a 15 inch but to compensate for the size it really does work and my 15 inch can fit inside this bag it just needs to be in the open compartment area because if they made that back area bigger the bag would look bigger and I was also worried that the bag would look too big for my height I am 160 centimeters which is five foot three can we just say five foot three <laughs> And with big laptop bags and stuff, it always made it look real bulky and chunky on me and it made me look super short, which I am. It doesn't mean that I want to look it. I want to be proportional to my height and to my body shape. And this bag does that. Senrev, give it a go. The bag prices go from 895 to 995. The reason why mine's the more expensive one is because I got the mimosa treated leather. Mimosa pressed leather, my bad. And the other one is marbled leather. I've never been a big fan of marbling texture. Mm. Unless it's real marble. So, they also have the mini bags, which a lot of celebrities have actually been using. And I do find them super adorable, but I'm actually looking for a nice big work bag that can carry all my stuff. And that gives me the option to carry it like a backpack in case it gets too heavy. So that's my review. I hope it helped you. Um, I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Most likely I'll give you another six month review to update you on the quality of this bag. But overall I think it's worth the price if you're looking for this type of functionality. So remember guys. Subscribe if you want to have more content and let me know in the comments below what else you think I should buy. There is an exciting new product that I'm going to be um, reviewing soon. It hasn't been sent out to me yet. I bought it through Indiegogo and it's basically the world's smallest portable tripod which would be perfect for anyone who travels alone or vlogs or just wants to take a photo but not awkwardly ask anyone about it. You'll see the video here when it becomes available. Remember guys. I am still learning and this is a working process for me. More videos to come and I promise they'll keep getting better. More detailed information about this, check it out on my website at www.missmuse.co.nz. It's now live. This is Dewey, in and out.